So we're up here at Halo's Bar and Grill, and Scott, what are we here for? Well, you know, we were fortunate to meet the Guardians of the Children, the organization, uh, motorcycle group, uh, earlier this year. Uh, unfortunately, one of their riders, one of their members, passed away on a motorcycle accident, so I know they're doing a bit of a memorial ride here. Uh, we're up in Alexandria, Indiana. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I know hearts are going to be heavy, but yet uh, I understand this is going to be more of a celebration of life. So we're going to go talk to people, find out a little bit more about Scooter and uh, some of the stuff going on around here. Still Horse is brought to you by Leidendorf Law with over 60 years experience in motorcycle and automotive injury cases. Now I know today it's, it's, it's a totally different thing. Today it's, it's now, it's, I mean like you said, it is, it's always about the kids, but I know today is a more somber day. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what happened and what's brought this ride on today? Yeah, one of our brothers, Scooter, uh, his name was Robert Holler, uh, road name was Scooter. Uh, he's been a member of the Guardians of the Children here in Indiana with us for uh, about the past 15 months. He had an accident, motorcycle accident last week. Uh, took his life. Um, you know, we're, we're here today. We put the ride together quickly to, to raise some funds uh, to help Scooter's family and to pay for his final expenses. Um, he was just a great guy. Everything that he did was to help other people. You know, that's the kind of guy he was. And when he got involved with the, the guardians of the children, he, um, it just transformed into to something larger for him and, and everything was about the kids. You know, when he uh, if we were going to ride and it was uh, during a thunderstorm and it didn't matter what was going on, he was the first guy in line ready to ride. And uh, the day that he had the accident, he, uh, he was actually returning from uh, an event that supported one of the kids that we work with. So, um, you know, I, I have, uh, I guess, a little bit of solace in the fact that I know Scooter's last day was doing stuff that he loved to do. He got to be around brothers and sisters that he loved and that loved him, and he was helping a child that day. Um, so, I, you know, uh, it's a huge loss for us. It's a huge loss for the for the children. Um, a lot of kids are affected by the loss of him. Uh, he got to know them, and uh, we're going to miss him. But we're uh, we're here today, you know, as part of a, a to celebrate Scooter's life. He was a he was a positive guy, and he um, leaned heavily on faith. You know, Scooter had a, a strong faith in uh, in God, and he had a he had a, a passion for uh, letting people know that any opportunity that he got in a conversation, he would he would let people know that he that he had faith and, and that he was uh, strong in his beliefs. So he was a good guy. So today we're trying to you know celebrate him. Uh, his legacy and, and raise some money, and uh, we're gonna there will be an actual memorial service coming up next week. Uh, but that's what we're doing here today. So, little Cuban, we're here today um, in support of your cousin, right, Scooter? Right. Can you tell me about Scooter? Well, he was a uh, retired corrections officer and he uh, was an EMT, he was a youth minister, and he, the biggest part of his life was uh, as guardians of the children. I think he loved that more than anything. And um, he grew up two doors down from me, so we grew up together. And to me, he's a great, he is a great man. He's also a donor, so his, um, some of his remains went to help somebody lit to live. Maybe two people or maybe three people. We're not sure about that yet. You know, that's pretty cool though because um, his memory will live on in other people and I think that's pretty cool when that happens. Well, there's a lot of brothers and sisters here that will never forget him. And uh, we're going to try and live up to his expectation. He's what we call a 125% giver. Um, he and I patched in together 125% the same day. And uh, I'm just proud and, and I want to celebrate today. I don't, I don't want to see tears. I know there's going to be some. But uh, when you're talking about great people, 
You're talking about people like Scooter. Well, you know, it is a day of celebration. Um, you know, I know that his memory is going to live on um, just because he was such a wonderful person. When you say 125% or, um, I, you know, you always hear the 1% or, but what's the 125% or? 125% is when you're there an hour early, when you're there when you don't need to be, when you're recognized for putting forth everything you've got when you don't miss any functions and uh, when when you really care and, and use your heart to guide you in uh, helping these kids that's that's number one in his life I think it always has been hey big shout out to Crambos out in Greencastle man if you're looking for paint work mechanical work or accessories they have everything you need out in Greencastle is Crambos you know well, what Josh, they say we're here today get you notice. Um, in support of your dad who has passed um but this is such a big you know ride and i just see so many motorcyclists here i've talked to so many people who just loved and uh, thought so much of your father um can you tell me um what it means to you to have all these bikes here in support of him today uh it's just it's amazing it's uh, amazing that uh the support group that he had and uh what he did uh for the children and the, and the guardians of uh, the children, the whole organization. Uh, you know, he touched a lot of people and uh, it, it shows today and I'm very proud of him for that. It definitely shows. Um, and I think the guardians of the, the is, what is the name of the group? Guardians of the? Guardians of the children. Guardians of the children. I know that group is just so um, adamant to help the kids and, and I'm so happy for that because they do such an awesome job. And I know that your father was, um, involved in that and I'm sure that he did just amazing work with that group yeah from uh, what they say I mean he he was just somebody somebody special and uh, you know it's uh, pretty awesome now <clears throat> to see all the lives he's touched and uh, you know him being a part of this organization uh, really uh, meant a lot to him and it's just very nice to see all these people come out and support him it is. Now, are you going to be riding your truck um, in front of or behind the bikes today? Uh, I'm going to be leading uh, in front of the bikes, so we'll be in the front of the pack. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, we're going to be praying for you today that this will be a, a great ride to be out there and just support and honor your father today. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, folks, very much. I appreciate it. Well, you're here. You're hosting this ride today. Um, this event is um, just kind of a, a sad day but a happy day I know that a lot of people are celebrating the life of Scooter and um, and you're hosting this so tell me about what you've had to do to go into this well last night uh, I did a lot of preparation a lot of them actually came here last night that I cooked for uh, I was here until 10 o'clock last night and then came back in at 8 this morning to start preparing for all the uh, different people was coming in and supporting uh, Scooter Somebody just introduced me to you. You do something very, very unusual, um, something really cool that I hope more people will start doing. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Madison County Biker Died Here started because of Jamie Cyphers. Um, he was a kid I knew when he was real young. He died on a bike. He had a cross by his where he died at, and it kept falling apart, and people would stop and put it back together. And I thought, we need to come up with something to mark places where these bikers have died. And I seen one one time and I pretty much just copied it, but downsized it. And it was out by Portland, Indiana. It's a monument we put up so that nobody forgets the ones that have died. Hopefully, not only bikers will see these, but cars as well, and realize bikers are dying. Way too many bikers are dying around Madison County. And uh, we just started putting them up. The part with the ride come up later, we uh, formed a ride where people would come pay their $10 to ride the ride and the money off of that would go to the families of a fallen biker within 48 hours. We try to get it to them so that they can have some money right then for whatever they need. And we just did a ride last weekend, the day that Scooter had fallen. Uh, now the fund's up to $1,509 is what we brought here to give to him today. We had an anonymous donation come in this morning, so we're going to hand him over 2000 today. Just from Madison County Biker died here. 
I'm, I'm speechless. I mean, I honestly, I, I, I have never heard this. I, I, I just, I'm just blown away by this. Um, my gosh, could you imagine if, if all the other counties were doing the same thing? Yeah, we, we can only do our county. It's, it's, it's unfortunate it happens in other counties. The way we set this up is, if you're from Madison County, no matter where you die, we're going to pay your family some money to help them out. If you ride from surrounding counties into one of our rides, we can't exclude you. So we're going to, every county that touches Madison County, if you die in Madison County, we will give you at least 500 from the fund if the fund is over that. If not, it's what it is. If we're paying 25% of whatever the fund is. That way it keeps going. It don't never get depleted. Uh, hopefully it never gets paid again, <laughs> but it's there if it does.